Hi Sagittarius, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to your um, romance reading for June so 2020 and um, I've got a, a beautiful new deck and uh, that is called the Shadowlands that I'm using and of course one of my other favorites the Enchanted Dream Tarot and uh, you most probably have already seen in the weekly um, the weekly videos that there will be a competition shortly and that you can win a deck of the um, Shadowlands with compliments from the uh, publisher um, this deck from the publisher Shiver and the Red Feather Red Feather is a sister company of Shiva and you will get a brand new uh, deck and you will also receive the book with it. There's also another deck because I, I already said something in the live sessions before I got my new cards that I was going to do a competition and I was going to give away the vice versa. So there are two decks to be won. So if you already have the Shadowlands, then you can go for the other one. I hope you will enjoy the um, adventure in the competition, and I hope you will join the competition. If you, it, it might not have to be for you, but if it is for somebody else, you can also join, so long you're a member of the channel. Okay. So I'm going to begin with, with the reading in a minute, but if you would like to have a one-to-one -one reading, then you can find the information in the description box below this video, or you can click on the white circle in the right-hand corner, top right-hand corner, and it will take you to the um, website. There I will also upload the video and the introduction to what the specific uh, things you have to do in the competition. Okay, and that will be later this week because I'm doing the romance reading, that's why it's being delayed. But um, also, uh, I, sup uh, I go out live Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I do give away free cards and I also uh, answer questions that are supported by a donation, um, either a super chat or a super sticker. Okay, welcome to the new people and please subscribe and hit the bell and welcome to my Cyber Angels. Thank you for your support and sharing and liking. The first card that you have is the Six of Pentacles. Someone from the past might be coming back and bringing you a gift. This gift could be anything. You might have put out there that you wanted um, a gift of a book and somebody might just come back from the past and be bringing you that book. The clarification card on that is the Seven of Pentacles. You have sown seeds. What you sow, you shall reap. It's also a bit of a karma card. If you're nice, you'll get the ni uh, you'll get it back threefold. Okay, like I said, you might have put out out there that you are looking for a certain book, and somebody might be bringing that book, and it could be somebody from the past. In the second week, Sagittarius, you have the King of Pentacles. Wow! So if you've sown seeds like you've invested in something, you might see the return in the second week. Or you might start something new and invest like the King of Pentacles. So everything you touch will turn to gold, will turn into positivity. Or you might meet a Taurus, as the King of Pentacles represents Taurus. I love these quirky drawings, I really do. And on that, uh, to clarify it, you have five cups. Okay, learn from the past. Don't cry over spilled milk. Okay. And I don't think you are crying about the past. I think you're actually taking the two cups and investing in something worthwhile that you've um, 
researched and that will turn to gold it will multiply okay the third week you have the wheel of fortune uh, sorry yeah the wheel of fortune uh, that I was thinking in Dutch sorry and the wheel of fortune means what goes round comes round what goes up must come down this is also a karma card if you've done good you will receive it threefold like I said if somebody's done you good or bad they will get it back threefold as well you might be moving up a next level in your relationship from going out you might be getting engaged you might make it something more permanent if you're engaged you might be getting married this is a romance reading but it could also be in your work life like I said you're investing in something and you're changing the present and your future for a better future and you have the king of wands the king of wands is an Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius you are might be meeting one of these people not only a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn but it could be a fire sign and you are absolutely in your element Sagittarius as you have temperance you're trying to uh, maintain the balance but when you're trying to maintain the balance uh, in your relationship perhaps if you've got one if you don't you are trying to maintain balance with um, being satisfied as the way you are now and um, uh, mingling yourself by going out and going to work you're trying to also balance your social life so you get to know more people so that you can put yourself out there and be seen and you have to open your heart I'm afraid you'll have to really open your heart and your solar plex because look the swords are have are across your heart and your solar plex and you're not willing to see that you've shut yourself off that that is if you're not hooked up open up and also when you're hooked up and perhaps that would help with um, if you to open your heart so you can have fun and your solar plex and have laughter and to be more playful let your inner child come out so that you have balance get that balance that emotional balance laughter and sadness of course if you open yourself up you'll be like a lighthouse you'll be the beacon you'll be a magnet because people love you the way you are and the people that are worthwhile will stay with you you like I said you might be having a new uh, uh, relationship of course you've got the ace of wands with a fire sign they're there definitely and so is the king of pentacles but the knight doesn't represent any specific one only the king the queen and the page so that could be any of the fire signs it could be temperance could be another Sagittarius and it could be a Virgo or any of the don't exclude the uh, any of the earth signs but there is new passion there will be new passion even if you sorry even if you um, even if you are in a relationship when you open your heart and you find the balance back between happiness and sadness or you, you feel yourself again come out of your shell then you will have new passion then you can be passionate and you've got the page of wands and the page of wands is a Sagittarius wow so we've got two Sagittarians here so Sagittarius you are in your element and you might meet a Sagittarius if you're not hooked up now passion fire will exist will explode big time it's in your hands okay now the romance card that you have is let your friends help you if you are closed off and you have isolated yourself 
then the friends that you have around you, those are the real friends. Let them help you. Go out with them. Go and visit them. Make a party of your own. Get your own three of cups going. <laughs> Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Now you have the burnt orange um, angel feather and it says an open door. The angels ask you to be very observant as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity. Passion or an investment of love or passion. That could be too. So the burnt orange feather is presented to you as a symbol of an opportunity. The angels know that you have been experiencing muddled emotions. There you are, closed off. Recently, the angels are about to open a door for you. It will be an exciting door, uh, step on off the way. It will be, uh, sorry, it will be an exciting door of opportunity. Do not be afraid to ask for angelic assistance uh, and any assistance and any step on of the way at any time. In other words, you may ask to be observed, observant, to have courage or accept the opportunity when it is pre uh, presented. The angels say that when you believe, you open the door to wondrous opportunities and to miracles beyond your imagination. Walk through the door and fulfill your dreams. And the world is in your hand usually. Well, you're sitting in the hand, so delegate. Use your talents. You're good at delegating. Ask for help. Tell, uh, ask a, a, a friend, can you do this and can you do that and ask another friend, okay. And the other symbols of burnt orange is emotions, feeling burnt emotionally, creating creative endeavor. So be creative on how to get your partner. Ooh. You know them. If you fancy them or love them, you know them and you know what their dreams are. Ask Archangel Gabriel, the angel of dreams, and he will assist you and he'll get other uh, angels uh, involved as well, uh, like Archangel jo Jovial and Archangel Haniel and Shamuel, the heart, and Jovial, the solar plex. So open up that heart and solar plex. Those are the angels you can call upon. Know that you're not alone and that you are loved and protected. Thanks for popping in and I hope to see you in the life. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday and if I don't see you in the life, I will see you in the next video. Take care, be blessed and stay safe and open that heart of yours. Ciao, ciao. Big hugs.